Well, we have five interesting questions. So the first one is asked by Tang Ep Li, uh, Li Yong, Li Yong. So his question, <coughs> some monks indicate that Abhidhamma is not the teachings of the Buddha. said some monks indicate that Abhidhamma is not a teaching to directly from Lord Buddha, unlike other suttas. Therefore, it is not, a, not the essential teaching. What is Dr. Mendimon view on this? <coughs> so, these monks, you know, <coughs> what he referred to, they may not know, not the story of the Abhidhamma actually. So when the Buddha, you know, he gave his Dhamma talk you know, in the Tavitim Saram. So he, he gave the, the, the Abhidhamma, you know, the discourse for three months continuously without stopping. <laughs> So how could we do it without stopping, you know? So teaching and teaching continuously. So if he taught like that in the human realm, can human beings can listen for three months without sleep? So nobody could, no, could, could sleep like that. So when the, the, the Buddha, you know, whatever he did, he always you know, looked back to the previous Buddhas. What they really did, so he also did also. So all the previous Buddha, you know, they gave the, the, the Abhidhamma discourse, you know, the teaching in Tavadin Saram. So our Buddha, you know, in his seven, the Vassa, he also gave Abhidhamma teaching in the Tavadin Saram. And no, he make it no, when the very, no, the very, very, no, the essential. He said to teach Abhidhamma in the human realm at the same time. No, <clears throat> so what he did is every day, no, at the time of the going round for arms round, he came down to the human realm. So before he came down, he created an identical, identical Buddha. Just no, identical with his person, and he also no the <coughs> the made this this the the created Buddha to go on preaching the Vedama. No? That what he liked to to teach, so he can do that. So he himself no, he took his arms bow and also the. No? He over a rope and then he came down to the human realm. 
And actually, he landed in the Himalayas, you know, the forest. So there's very pleasant lake. We go know that know what that lake there. So he even take a bath there. And then you know, he went for hunt around in the North Island. We say you know, North Island. So the people are North Island. You know, they they are very religious. They observe five precepts all the time. Most all of them. You know, and they give him no, no, the enough food. He came back to this lake again, and no, he took the, this uh, delicious uh, the meal. And then, no, he went to the nearby no, the forest. So it is the no, they say like the fragrant forest, you know, with the fragrant trees there, uh, flowers. So at that time, his right hand disciple, Sari Buddha came to him to attend to him, not to attend to him. So he took, you know, in this occasion, he took Sariputta, you know, very short substance. What he taught in Abhidhamma, uh, the Intavdim Sarem, you know, on that day. So you know, the whole Abhidhamma, so he gave only the outlines, you know, very short you know, the substance to Abhi, uh, the Sariputta. He, when he did that, he already knew you know, Sariputta is foremost in wisdom. You know, in wisdom. He got reflect on this, you know, the gist that he gave in a thousand ways to know, you know, that he, to know all his teaching in Dawdim Sarem. He could know, not Abhyadi. Sarivita could know that. And <coughs> And another reason is, so like our Buddha, no, Sari Buddha also, no, he met the previous Buddha, and then he had become a monk in the dispensation, and also undertaken meditation. No, so, as he undertook meditation, also learned the, the three, no, the collections of the teaching of the Buddha. So he already knew no, somebody, already ha have learned this Abhidhamma before. So now when he recollected, he can easily no, remember all this and teaching. So the Buddha went back to Tavdim Saram to continue his teaching. And Sari Buddha also went back to his monastery. Now there are 500 newly ordained bhikkhus. And these 500 monks, they were the bats, no? the bats, you know, the, fly, the birds that fly at night. So, you know, they, they live in a cave, in the, in the Himalayas forest, in a cave. So two monks no? also stay in that cave, and they recited a Bidamatic school in Pali every day. So these 500 bats, no, they have very you know, good attention no, the, for hearing. So they listen to this teaching. Of course, they didn't understand anything, but they appreciate no, the, 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 the recitation of this, no, and they, res they listen respectfully. So that means, no, even they don't understand anything, they are developing moral minds. So they attain you know, the good karma, moral karma, by many billions every second. So when these 500 bats died, they all became you know, celestial beings in the Tavdim Sarem. So now from one Buddha to another Buddha, this pension, it takes a long time actually, you know, a very, a very long time, many millions of years actually. And then when our Buddha, Gorama, appear, they also were born in the human realm. Before the Buddha, he went up to the Tavdim Saram. He displayed you know, his very you know, the outstanding you know, miracle. So, you not know, the, the, the producing fire save from one eye, and then water from another eye. And actually, he could produce you know, the, the water you know, from the some sweat holes and, and, and the fire from other sweat holes like that. And why the people were watching you know, in, you know, in, in, uh, amazingly, so he tried to, he, to change it. So instead of fire coming here, 
Im Daily, the pie come here and water come here. And so all this time this. So very, very, you know, the miraculous. And so many people, you know, they appreciate that. So after displaying that, you know, the, the supernormal miracle, so he reflected. What did other, the, the other Buddha, Buddha did? You know, after they display you know, this great miracle, they went up to Tabdin Saram and stayed there you know, for three months. So you know, he actually he, he took his, his place you know, in the in the 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 the, 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 sekka, you know, the in the sekka, the, you know, they have very big stone slab there. So you know, sitting the sitting on that cross-legged, so he keep on meditating. So you now the Buddha he could make his his voice to be heard you know, for the ten thousand the war cycles. So all oh, you know, many of these you know, the slash of beings and the Brahmas also they came to listen. And his mother, you know, Mahamaya Devi, after giving birth to you know, to him, not as a Siddhartha prince, she passed away after seven days. Because her lifespan is over, she passed away, and became, you no, know, it became a, de, a deva, no, a deva. So you now by the name of Sandi Sukha Deva in the Tuksita realm. So you know, this this Sandi Deva also came to listen, you know, to his Abhidhamma teaching. So, and uh, Sariputta, no, so the, these five hundred, you no, know, the the men who have been uh, who, who have been born as the, the as the beds so they uh, you know, they developed great respect to the buddha and when the buddha went up they came to study buddha and they were ordained as monks so study buddha taught them you no know, taught them so abhidhamma is taught you know, the simultaneously in tavdin sarem and as well as in the human realm. And this, you know, these beds, because they have listened to Abhidhamma recitation respectfully you know, in, their, in their previous existence. So when Sari Buddha you know, taught them Abhidhamma, they could understand. They could understand. So if you don't understand the, the, you know, my teaching of Abhidhamma yet, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> The next time or the next uh, the next session, you understand very well. <laughs> you know, no? No? So in that case, no, in that way, for three months, so no, the, the the Buddha he did like this, and then when no, the, he closed the, his teaching there, Sari Buddha also closed his teaching in the human realm. No? And no, the in the Tipitaka, no, the the Buddhist scripture, no, the, so it is mentioned that. Now, when the Ananda, no, his attendant, personal attendant, could speak one word, the Buddha could speak 128 words. So that means he can speak very fast. But when the people no, uh, they listen to him, very clear, no, very clear and vivid, they can understand. So you can see, teach him Abhidhamma for three months, no, without stop, with that high rate. So Abhidhamma discourse is very, very wide. So when Sari Buddha, he taught in the human realm, so he could not teach the whole, the whole thing, because no, when, the, when, when he could speak for one word, the Buddha could speak for 128 words. So no, he tried to no, the condense it, and he taught what is suitable to the human beings. So, and, and when, and, no, at the end of the, the teaching of the, no, the Abhidhamma in Tavadin Sarem, so no, in the, our the Buddhist literature, it is not written by our no, the Tipigadra, very learned no, the monk who, who became Tipigadra, no, the, no, the monk we call Mingon Seado. No, he is very learned. So he, he, could, no, he could refer to all the teachings of the Buddha. And he said, 400 million no, devas and brahmas became enlightened as, as, no, as noble person, no, Ariya. 
and his his mother, no, the Sandi Sukha Deva, also became a stream winner. So you could see no, the great benefit. No, 400 million, no, 400 crores, you see, 400 crores. So there will be 4,000 million, actually. So all our, no, the, the world, our world population at the present is only 7,500 million. So all, more than half of that. <laughs> so became, no, became the, the noble person. So no, whatever the Buddha did, he could also see the result. No, the, the, the result. What would be the result? He could see that. So as we have no, so much of the benefit, so no, he thought in the Tavrim Saram. And all the 500 you know, the monks that Sari Buddha taught. So when the Buddha came down from you know, the celestial realm to the human realm, so they welcomed you know, the Buddha. And you know, as soon as the Buddha saw the, this 500 monks, he already knew you know, their, their level of understanding of the Dhamma. So the Buddha gave just a short discourse to them. They all of them became arahats, the highest attainment, no, the highest attainment. And then no, what the Sari Buddha taught no, to these people is approved by the Buddha. No, he approved by the Buddha. He already knew that. So when the, you know, when the, in the first Buddhist council, you know, when they tried to collect all the teachings of the Buddha, so they take this the teachings of the Sari Buddha. No, as the, the teaching of the Buddha. Because without the guidance of the Buddha, the Buddha, Sari Buddha could not teach. Now, no, what Sari Buddha taught is approved by the Buddha. So, Sari Buddha is teaching on behalf of the Buddha, like that. So, no, the, 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 the London monks, all the other 500 arahats actually, no, in the first Buddhist council, so they, no, they, they make this as the Abhidhamma Pitaka. Vidama Pitaka. And then no, when he say like, uh, like the, the monk said like that, no, therefore Abhidhamma is not essential teaching. Very, very bad. No, it is, is, it is the most outstanding teaching of the Buddha. We call Abhidhamma. So that means it is no, more excellent, more pre, uh, the preponderant, and much, much no, the uh, inclusive then the in his sutanda uh, the teaching no? so it is very very wide also and no, based on these ultimate realities no, the buddha no, can understand the mind in detail no? and then he knew that no, those lopa dosa moha defilements they are the root causes of all suffering and all no, all evil actions he knew that and also no, he discovered uh, he got the, with his supernormal knowledge, as I told you yesterday, he can also you know, deduce the law of karma and the law of you know, dependent origination. So, you know, depending on this, you know, he tried to undertake vipassana meditation. And I told you yesterday, his med vipassana meditation is the greatest. So it is called you know, Mahavajira vipassana. Very, very, you know, very, very wide. Because with his divine eye, he could see you know, 100,000 wall cycles. So all the living beings that he could see there. And he could also see penetratively all their ultimate you know, mentality and ultimate materialities arising and perishing very, very rapidly. So, you no. Know, so what really exists in the universe is only this ultimate realities. You no, know, the ultimate realities. So the mind is also actually it is a combination of consciousness and mental factors. So they are ultimate realities. So no, so the Buddha he knew in detail, and also he could remember no his his the meditation and his learning previously. So then when you know the undertaking the vipassana meditation, so I think you know, he took only about three hours, <laughs> three hours can develop the ten inside knowledges and the four 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 part wisdom, no, very, very quickly. And then his the when as this his meditation, Vipassana meditation is no, so broad and so powerful, 
So when he attained the full full part wisdom, his mind no, so, uh, totally no, become pure. So remember, no, you don't know that no, this Lobha, Dosa, Moha, they always remind and they remain in our, in our minds as latent defilements, we say. No, they, they remain dormant no, in our mind, ready to arise. So whenever sense objects no, they arise in the sixth sense door, no, if it is beautiful with a pleasant sense objects, Lobha arises. It is unpleasant, dosa arises. <laughs> and it is not very interesting, moha arises. So the mind is always occupied, or, no, or overwhelmed by these, no, the lobha, dosa, moha. No? So no, when the, 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 the four four past wisdom of the Buddha eliminate this, uh, no, the, the, the defilement, even not a trace of no, the, the, the defilement really remain anymore. No? And also we have, no, no, the, we have an example. So if you, you wrap no, like the rotten fish, no, rotten fish with, with leaves, and then you try to, to wash these leaves, it always smells no, very bad. No? So the, uh, the same thing, no, even Sari Buddha, Though his uh, the defilements are totally eliminated, no, but still, no, the like the smell, <laughs> the smell still remain, no, still remain. So at one time, no, the <coughs> a man invited him to his house, and then he had three ropes, no, to offer to the 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 uh, the Abhasari Buddha. So no, they they have to pass uh, the forest. And it's just after the rain, so there is some, some water on the road. So when it comes to see the water, Sari Buddha, no, he had in one institution he had been a, mon uh, a monkey. So still that instinct of the monkey is still in him. <laughs> so he jumped over it. <laughs> so that the man was surprised, surprised. Oh, Arahat, if he is Arahat, how did he jump? He must not be Arahat. I would donate only two, two ropes, reduce one. So another place, get they, they see the same, the same like water again. Again, Sariputta jam again. So he said, I reduced you know, two, two ropes. I would donate only one more rope, one rope. So then at the, that place, they say again. The, so the man was looking when he's uh, uh, jamming again. He didn't jam, he just go around. So the man answered the Sari Buddha, why didn't you jump this time? Well, if I jump this time, I will, lose, I will lose all the three ropes. <laughs> so the man said, oh, he know my, not my mind. He must be arahant, so he donated all three ropes. <laughs> so now, now you, the Abhidhamma is the most important, actually. All the Sudanda teachings are based on this Abhidhamma. No, like no, when, he, when he taught morality, moral precepts. No, so all are based on this Abhidhamma. And then when we body undertake inside meditation, we pasana, our objects must, must be totally ultimate realities. No more concept. No more concept. No? So, if only if you can meditate like that, you can become a noble person. No? So don't believe no, if some people say, no, it is not the true teaching of the Buddha. Don't, don't, don't believe that. No? Otherwise you, you will miss no, very great the opportunity. So the, the, next, <coughs> the next one. So they say, you know, this is by O I E N, no, his name. In the beginning of the class, Doctor no, Doctor mentioned when men and women fall in love, no, fall in love, lopa dosa moha will arise. So in order to attain nibbana. Must one stay single? 
<laughs> and you know, the out of relation you know, in that con context. So though he, uh, we should not get married in, in order to get enlightened. Uh, that's what he want to say, I think. No? So no, actually, you should not. You cannot. You uh, you need not do like that. No, you do not do like that. So no, the <coughs> anyone. No, so during the Buddha's time. No. Many housewives, no, why they are performing the, the, the house duties, they became enlightened, many of them became enlightened as noble person. No, so, and also, no, the many persons start the meditating as lay person, as lay person, no, and then after no, they became enlightened as noble person. So even if you are the same winner, and the non return the ones returner. There are four types of no, the uh, noble person. So when you get the first no, the part wisdom, you uh, you become a sim winner. And then when you attain the second no, the part wisdom, you become one's returner. That means you will be reborn in the no, the in the uh, the sense sphere only once. And then only when you become anagami, the third stage then you, jo you don't enjoy sense pleasure anymore. So only then you don't, no, you, you actually, even you have a wife, so no, you, 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 you don't enjoy sense pleasure anymore. And when they die, they will not be reborn in the sense sphere. They will be reborn as Brahma. No, as Brahma. So no, even the, the first two, no, they, no, they still married, like you know, the well-known Visakha, remember? Now Visakha became a, a Simena at the age of seven, seven years. Only at the age of seven years. No? So just by listening to the, 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 Dhamma, the teaching of the Buddha, she, she was enlightened no? as a noble person. And then she, became, she got married no? with a rich man and produced 20 children. <laughs> so, no, you you need not uh, you you not you need not be single actually you know, for, for undertaking meditation, no. So, and then he also have the second question, no, again. So, I need the light here. So his uh, he said the book mentioned, no. <laughs> Oh, what happened? Yes, the book uh, mentioned uh, the if we are not attached to anything and no longer to learn dhamma, no? as as an aspect to attain nibbana. So, does that? So, no, but uh, if you, you, you write, try to write very clearly, <laughs> so very difficult to read. So, no, again, he said, the book no, mentioned, if we are not no, attached to anything, no, if we are, no, We are eager to learn Dhamma, or no, we we aspire to attain Nibbana. Does that that uh, does, uh, does that consider as attachment, and eventually no, not any suffering? as well, you know, will bring suffering as well. So again, you know, the <coughs> if you, you, as an, uh, you, you are eager you know, to learn the Dhamma and you aspire to attain Nibbana, that is not attachment, that is not Lopa. 
low power is craving only for sense objects, only sense pleasure. No, so when you want like the no, like to, to learn the Dhamma and to become enlightened, so it is your wisdom actually. No, your wish because of the wisdom you know. Oh, it's very, very noble to become no, the, the the noble person. And then no, if, only if we learn the Dhamma. No, actually we can live no, morally and uh, wisely, so that no, we can we we can live happily. And still, we can uh, we can gain no, thousands of the good karmas and be reborn in the blissful realm again and again. So I think that question is clear already now. No, it's, it's not attachment. And then this is Mr. Sheng Nadim. Oh no. So what is what is the most misunderstood concept of Buddhism? due to translation from Pali to English. So now if the translator, they understand the, the Dhamma very well, they can translate correctly. So if they don't understand very well, then there will be a mistake for them. No, the, 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 so the, 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 basic, no, the, the basic misunderstanding no, in, in all of us is no, that the not-cell characteristic, no, not-cell, no-cell, no I, no? so no person, no? so there are only no, the mentality, materiality that really exists. So man, woman no, do not really exist. So according to the, the, the Abhidhamma, no? that is only in the ultimate sense we say that. No? We say that. And yesterday I told you in the conventional truth, no? we also believe, we, we also take, we have to take and all the conscien one conventional, no, the real deeds, really exist. Man, woman, really exist. But in the ultimate sense, what really exists in us is only ultimate mentality, ultimate materialities. No, so this form and shape, uh, the no, we get the concept, no, because of that, and we are already already blinded by the ignorance, not to know the real thing that we say, no. So as we say, you know, when we, we can develop the inside knowledge, you know, when we can see ultimate reality, mentality, and uh, the materiality in, um, that make up our body and mind, then when we undertake vipassana meditation, this body do not exist. Do not exist. Men, women do not exist. Only mentality, materially exist. No? Only then, if you can see like that, no, only then, if you you, you know, we can the eliminate that that personality belief we say. No, personality belief is is uh, the basic wrong view actually. The basic wrong view, no, because we have the delusion. No, we say, oh, I really exist. Oh, I can feel my so, no, so why why you I don't exist? We say, so because of that, every person become very selfish, very selfish. And selfishness is very bad thing, actually. No, so the William Bre uh, Gladstone, no, the one of the English prime minister. No, so he he made the statement very good. He said, he says selfishness is not the worst caste of humanity. No, the caste mean <laughs> C U R S E the caste. No, the caste. You 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 know that. No, so it is. Uh, it is the bad thing. No, Be, uh, the, the people they becomes you no, know, the selfish and greedy. So try to accumulate. You no, know, the uh, like the, the the wealth. So all the wealth of the people. You no, know, half of the wealth of the people is uh, you know, they are in the hands of only a few billionaires. Only a few billionaires. You no, know? so, so unless you can you no know, the get rid of this personal belief you will never become enlightened. No, you will never become enlightened. So, no, we say, see is deceiving. What we see is, no, we, we see with the delusion, or the, no, blinded by igno the ignorance. So, no, we take that, oh, I exist, oh, this exists. No? So, like, like even the science, they say, no, the, the, like the science, they, they said, our body is made up of atoms. So we agree with that. No? 
So the atom is the, 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 the tiniest, you know, the, 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 say the tiniest particle that can not be further divided. And then you know, finally in the 20th century, they, you know, they discovered that you know, electron, proton, neutron, we call subatomic particles. So then, you know, when we learn chemistry and physics, so we have to learn the atomic, you know, at, at, atomic theory. So in the atomic theory, they say an atom is made up of, you know, the, the nucleus is proton and the neutrons are in the, in the nucleus. And electrons are rotating around the, this nucleus. And the proton is positively charged, electron is negatively charged. Only if it's rotating like that, no, they, they, can, they can exist, no, like, just like at our solar system. No, the, the sun is in the middle, and nine planets, in, including our, our Earth, are rotating. So if you take all what, what they are rotating, it's a big one. <laughs> the solar system is a big one. But what really is this very you know, little, the, the sun and only the nine planets. So again, you know, the scientists they say, so if you, you, if you take all the, the, the nuclei of this atom that made up the body, that will amount to only to the size of a pinhead. So what really exists in the whole body is just a pinhead. <laughs> That's according to the scientists. No? So if you understand what I said the, about the, the structure of atom, so we can believe it. We can show the, uh, the Buddha also said like that. No, we have only this ultimate mentality, mentality, no form, no shape. No, no form, no shape. So now when we see like that, so no more shape, no more, no more form, no more body. No, so only when you can see you know, like that in meditation, then you, 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 are, no? you are convinced that, oh, the Buddha said this correct. I do not exist. If you can eliminate this personal belief, you become a same winner. You can enjoy the Nibbana bliss right away. No? So, if you are not just by you know, the learning of Vidama, not the teaching of the Buddha, like for me, I, I'm very convinced that, no, that, that the, what the teaching of the Buddha is correct, but still I cannot get rid of the personal belief. <laughs> so we still think I, I exist. So, no? So only when we become you know, the, the same winner, then we shall be able to get rid of it. And then the next one is by So Su Ko, like that. So he said in, on page 37 of our Abhidhamma book, so we, we give the, the title there, Akusala Vipaka Chaita. How come it is? Not ahituka akusala vipaka chaita, he said. So, no, he said, no, no, what, what I wrote there, akusala vipaka chaita, no, it's not correct. It should be, no, ahituka akusala vipaka chaita. So, can you put down the chat number one and two? Chat number one and two. So, you have listened to the Bhidama just for one day. And what will you learn one day? You, do, <laughs> you don't know about Bhidama. No, very much yet, actually. So, now these are uh, the, the Vipaka Chaita. So, we write here, Akusala Vipaka Chaita. So, there are only seven results in consciousness. Produces by the, no, the, 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 the karma produced by the twelve in moral mind. So they have only this one form. So when we say Agusala Vipaka, no, the Vipaka Chaita, so we understood these are only the same, the seven. But here, no, we have to use Ahituka, we have to put in Ahituka, the rootless, no, the Kusala vipaka, moral result and consciousness. 
because no, the, the, the resultant of this Mahakusala Chaita is not only this eight, no, the, the Kusala Vipaka Chaita, also this eight Maha Vipaka Chaita. So no, the sixteenth the consciousness are produced with this the, from the, this, the eight Maha Kusala Chaita. So these contain the roots and these do not contain the roots. So you have to differentiate. So when we call that, oh, we mean the, the, the rootless one. So we put in Ahituka. Ahituka Gusala Vipaka Chaita. So when we say here, we don't need, no, we, 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 don't, we don't put Ahituka. So we say Maha Gusala. Or if you use this Kama Vachara Chaita, so we can also call it no, Kama Vachara Gusala Chaita. Only that. No, we don't, we don't need to use the Ahituka here. We just put Ahituka here. And the same thing with the, the with the, no, the, the, this Kriya Chaita. We have, no, these, this, the Hasitupada. And then the Panja Dwaravajana and Mano Dwaravajana. So these are, no, they, they are the rootless, the functional consciousness. So we call it Ahituka Kriya Chaita. And then also, no, the, we have, Eight Maha Kriya Chaita here with roots. And for this, we just call them Maha Kriya Chaita. Only this, no, because they don't have the root, we emphasize here. And all, actually, when you learn Abhidhamma, no, we say, no, the, from here, all these Chaita, no, they are called the beautiful consciousnesses. They all have beautiful roots, two or three roots. So we don't put any ahituka in in front of them, no? or hituka. We don't we don't need to put them because they are only you know, one type. So if you understand that, no, what we wrote there is not 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 wrong. It is correct, no. So <coughs> and then the one more question. It is very 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 great question. <laughs> so, if we don't, uh, the, 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 the no name, no, no name of the questioner. So, what he asks is very good actually. If we don't exist and our minds don't belong to us, who is actually controlling the mind by making the decision? to do wholesome or unwholesome deeds. So this is, very, no, this is a very good question. And actually we have no, the, the answer in my early, early book here. So it is in the introduction. You go back to the introduction. So you please you know, the, the project the page twenty twenty one. Page twenty twenty one. So we have you know, the a similar question here. You no know, very similar question here. So, 1921, so we have here no, the two very learned men, oh, it becomes 20 here, no, 2021, so a little <laughs> from the book and here, no, the, 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 the projection we have. So can you have 20, 21, we have 20, we, we need 20. 
Yes. Yes, it's all right. It's all right. So it is a good, a good the story again. No, a good story again. I think you know we should know about this. Now this is King Milinda. King Milinda and Venerable Nagasena. So they are very learned person, very learned person. And then no, their story is also no the produced in our Buddhist literature. So no the, the this two person during the, the dispensation of Kaspa Buddha, the previous Buddha, no previous then about the Gautama Buddha, we have Kaspa Buddha. So on the, on the bank of the Ganges River in India, there is a monastery. So Imam was you no know, the sweeping the leaves that fall on the ground and put in together one place, and he called a, a novice who was playing no, nearby. Now, novice, you please come. And then no, you, you put the, the, these leaves in, the, in a basket and throw it no, into the river. He called three times. So the novice pretended not to hear, Keep, kept on pl uh, playing. So with, with the, with, no, we, we, when you, you use no, the sweeper there with the, with the handle, long handle, so the man became no, angry. So he beat with that. No? He beat on the head, so the world always cry. So he came and he put no, all this in the basket. And then he went to the, no, the, the bank of the river and no, no, the, threw it into the stream. At that time, no, the, the water in the Ganges River was you know, almost full. They are you know, coming up like that. So when he saw that you know, the great water, he had the idea to make a wish. So he made a wish actually, he said, now by, you know, by the benefit of you know, the throwing this, you know, this rubbish into the river, may I become a man of great wisdom, as, as, as great as the, this, uh, the, the river, of the, <laughs> the Genghis River. And if I ask question, let no other, other learned person be able to answer. So he made he made that wish. So the monk was came also at that time near uh, came near him, and he heard, oh this this novice, he he threw no, he threw the rubbish because I asked him to do so, and now he no, he wished to become a very learned man, and then no, so I should also make no, the wish he said, so he said now, now for sweeping no, this rubbish. And also, you know, for being a monk, you know, the, the, you know, he attained very, great, very, very great merit, actually. So because, you know, because of this merit, in my you know, future existence, may I be you know, a man of you know, greater wisdom than this, uh, the, this, <laughs> than this do with, and, uh, and may I be able to answer all the questions he asked. <laughs> So when they died, they were born in the celestial, the celestial realm first. So only in our Buddha's time again. So you know, the, the novice became King Milinda. Uh, King Milinda. So it is just like the, you know, in the, that country, his country is like, I think, the, the Afghanistan, the present Afghanistan. And then the, you know, the, the, the other man, Venero Nagasena, so you know, the, the monk, he became uh, the 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 the, the, the bhikkhu there who, who who swept that. So he became the venerable Nagasena, and he became arahat by meditation, and he also attained very great merit, but very great wisdom. And now this King Milinda, no, he was proud of his uh, his wisdom. So in his country, if he found if he had that, oh no, that man is very learned, and that monk is very learned. So no, he, he came and asked question to them. They cannot answer. So they got ashamed and they left the, the, the country. So no, when he did that, the, the, several of the, the London person have to leave. So the elder monks in the India, they, they, they knew about this. No? They knew about this with their normal, no, super normal knowledge. 
So they asked the Vanuva Naga Sena, you went to that country <laughs> and tried to answer the question. <laughs> no, they asked by this, by this king. So when the Nagasena, no, he came to this, the, 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 the country of this King Melinda, and of course he didn't go to the, the, the palace, he stayed in one monastery, and sent the word to the king. Venerable Nagasena, no, who is a very learned person, is now in this monastery. No, if the uh, the king would like to ask question and would like to discuss, so you know the king is uh, the welcome, welcome to come. So as soon as uh, the king heard the, the, the name Nagasena, he became humbly <laughs> because uh, there is now another another intellectual people who would be, who, who 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 could beat him. No? So that, but he came. No? he came and then they met together. So now we have no, their they are, they are dialogue. Their dialogue is here. No? So now the king, the king asks, no, the king asked the Venvo Nagasena, by what name shall I know you, sir? He said. So when Venvo Nagasena answered, my companions call me Nagasena. But the name and the person whom that name refers to do not really exist. So that we, no, we do not say, you do not exist, I do not exist, the same thing here. Yeah. Now the king, now they commanded, if Nagasena and the person no, do not exist, to whom the people offer alms food, and who receive these offerings, since you receive them, you really exist. Why did you tell a lie in spite of your high nobility? So, not the king. He said he could defeat <laughs> Dagasena by this statement. So, and you agree with, uh, with, uh, with this question also, is it, don't you? No? So, if Nagasena didn't, uh, didn't exist, who, no? Or oh, why? Uh, who? Oh, no, oh, no, no. Who received you know, the offerings? And then, since you received them, you, you know, must really exist. Why did you you tell a lie in spite of you know, in spite of that high nobility? So actually, you know, when the Nagasena, he gave the question, you not know, to get the answer like this. You know, he is, you know, he already respected. And then the Venu Nagasena inquired, Your Majesty, did you come to this monastery on foot or by chariot? The, the, the king replied, Oh, I came by chariot. Then Venu Nagasena you know, inquired further, Well then, please show me your chariot. Is the horse the chariot? No, the king said. Is the wheel a chariot? No, the king said. Is the axle the chariot? No. Is the carriage the chariot? No. So the king answered no to all the questions. So he tried to ask no, every part of the, 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 the carriage, whether it is the carriage. So by that, taking that one part, it is not a, a, a carriage. So no, the king also answered no, no, no. Venerable, no, the Dangasina remarked, is there a chariot beside the horse, the wheel, the axle, and the ca uh, carriage, etc.? So the, uh, the king again said no. <laughs> again said no. So Nagasena commanded, Your Majesty, you said you came here by chariot. Now, no, yet you could not show me the chariot. Why did you tell? No, he lied in spite of your high honor. <laughs> so the king consented. There is no chariot beside the horse, the wheels, the axle, and the carriage. Just a combination of these things, no, all these things, has been named the chariot. So uh, when the Lord Nagasena remarked, Very well, your majesty, no, as you should, uh, you should understand 
Naga Sena, as you understand the chariot. Did you know the meaning? No? So, only that, you know, the combination of the, all the parts of the, 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 the carriage. No? When they are put together, we go each other, each chariot. No? Each chariot. So if you take them apart, no chariot. No, no chariot, so that the chariot appear, disappear. And the same thing, no? our body is made up of no? mentality, materiality. Mentality, materiality really, really exists. No? Really exists. And then this body, no, this body do not really exist. As we, I told you, no, if you can, the, the, no, the, try to be lopa, dosa, moha, no, that is the occupying the mind most of the time. So now today we are going to do the, 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 the how to develop the jhana. So when we develop the jhana, no, so if you attain the jhana, the mind become pure. No, the mind become pure. Those you know, the defilement that are arising in the mind, they are all you not know, driven away. You no, know, when you attain the jhana. So when you attain the jhana, very bright and penetrative light, penetrative light, you no, know, arises, you no, know, and arises there, and then with the help of that penetrative light, you no, know, we can see the ultimate realities, and can can defy them, can define them. No, so we have to find to define every you no know, the ultimate materiality, ultimate mentality, you no know, that make up the body and mind, you no know, by by their characteristic, and by their function, and then the the result of that function we call manis, manifestation, and then the approximate cause that give rise to them. So you no know, the meditators can they can also do that. So when you are doing that, this body do not exist. No, but, but remember, no, the mind really exists. Because the mind no, is a combination of consciousness and mental factors. We told you yesterday, you know, the consciousness and mental factors, they cannot arise singly. They are very subtle, very tender, very fine. They always combine together to arise. So when we find we call you know, the consciousnesses, so they are actually a combination of consciousness and mental factors, and just yes, I told you, they actually refer to the minds. No? So no, as he, he say here, no, the, the, the mind does not, uh, all the things do not exist. So the mind do not exist, he, say, he said that. So the mind is not included in the things we said. <laughs> in the thing we said is only the concept. No, we say living beings and inanimate things. All these things are, no, they do not really exist. No, so the mind really exists. No, it already exists. And I, person, do we really exist or do don't we don't we exist? What do you think? No, so that that is a very good question. So no, we are we are. No, we, we have that personality belief strongly no, the attached to our, <laughs> to our height, to our mind. Oh, I exist, I exist. So, no, as I told you, no, though no, the, the, I'm teaching you no, the, this and with my understanding, I understand that I really do not exist. No, but still, no, I feel, uh, <laughs> the notion of I is still remain, no, remain it. Only when you become the, the noble person, no, then you, 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 you can eliminate it. No, no, no person exists anymore. No. Like the, the, when you become arahat, it's much better. When you become arahat, you, know, you can eliminate all, all defilement. All defilements are totally eliminated. So, no, this wrong view do not exist anymore. No, do not exist anymore. So, no, the one lady yesterday also asked me, no, this craving, craving lobha, how can we eliminate it? <laughs> she asked a good question also, craving and craving. No, we say lobha is craving for many things, for wealth, for, no, the, for, the, the, for sensual pleasure, etc. And because of that, no, the, the, this craving, you are having all your troubles, no, all your suffering, 
arises from that craving actually. So I do uh, no. the craving can be eliminated only when you become an arahat. No? So unless you become an arahat, we always have craving. No? But when you become a sri vinna, the craving you know, becomes very little. No? No, very, very little. The gross aspects of the craving, all the craving no, are already eliminated no, by this, the, the first pass wisdom. So when you become a sri and a sri vinna, do, no, the, the craving exists very little, very little, no, very little. So only when you become arhat, you can totally eliminate it. But now we should know that no, we are always under the influence of this craving. No, actually, you know, the, some of our learned monks said, no, it is, only, it is craving that rules the world. Because everybody is trying to, you know, to, to do what craving is, uh, is asking them to do. To do no? No, so we say uh, yesterday, when we, when we crave for good food, for money, no, for, wealth, for fame, so we say only it is lopa that is craving. No? And we think that we, 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 uh, we crave it. And when we, no, when we get what, what we crave for, so we are, we are happy, we are, you know, we are happy. And that is also actually the, the, the it is low part, no, that there is that enjoy it, no, that, that is uh, satisfied. No? But we think that we, I, I still exist. And then no, the, as we, we see this, this example of no, the, 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 the carriage, as the carriage is made up of no, the uh, various parts, and so, so the Buddha said, all the, 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 no, the mentality, materiality that make up our body can be grouped in five aggregates, can be classified into the five aggregates. So all the consciousness no, that, that make, the make of the body is called consciousness aggregate. And then among the mental factors, no, feeling is very important. Feeling, feeling, all the feeling is also the Buddha make it one aggregate, feeling aggregate, he said. Perception, no perception, no, that try to know no, the, 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 the whole features of a, no, every sense object. So it also make it is the perception aggregate. And all the remaining mental factors are made also an aggregate, it's called Sankara aggregate. So everybody, the Buddha said, is made up of only these five precepts, five aggregates. No, these aggregates, they are not person. No, they are just a mentality and materiality. No, so, so no, just to show that person, no, person, man, woman, I do not exist. So the Buddha no, declassify these five aggregates. And in meditation, we have to see all ultimate mentality, materiality that make our body. And we can all, we have to see all other people's body also, at least about 10 percent. That they are making, uh, they have only this mental and materiality. And then you can also classify them into five aggregates. Only that exists. No? Just like the, 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 the several parts of the... <laughs> The, the, the carriage. So this uh, five aggregates make, make you, make you, no, for the, the, so you really do not exist. No, so when we say how, you do, uh, how do we control the mind? So no, that is a good question also. If I do not exist, how can I control my mind? No, just uh, I say, no, the, the, no the, the, we can control our mind. No, so to, so by that way, we can also control our faith and energy no? by, that, by that. So we say, no? we, uh, the, uh, when you have the, uh, the, the Buddha uh, said, no? among the, ma the mind, there are four the, 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 uh, the, uh, the dominant, dominant, no, dominant features. So you know, the, the four are the, the, the one is you know, the effort, the second is the, the, the wish, chanda we call it, you know, the wish. And then the third is the, the, the consciousness, the mind. And the fourth is the wisdom. 
And actually, among these, uh, the wisdom is 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 the most powerful. Actually, so when uh, the when the these four they can become predominant no, in, in in one mind, just like in a, in a country. You no, know, we have we have the the, the, the king as as the the most powerful person you know, in, in the country. So if the king you know, wants to do something, so you know, if he, he leads the way, then all the other you know, the citizens you know, would help him, and then you know, whatever he wants to do, so he can do it, he can accomplish it. And the same thing here, when the mind becomes you know, the predominant, and becomes you know, the, the the dominant factor among the mind. So everybody has to obey the, the mind. They, they, this the wisdom, the wisdom. So when we get the wisdom, no, we learn here now, so we, we, we say, no, the light, no, when you're craving like that, so you can control this craving. So it is actually this wisdom is, no, the, is controlling this. No? You think you, you, you know it. So we say you don't know, know you don't exist. What really know is this mind is knowing actually, no knowing that. So whatever are doing the mind itself is is you know, the, accomplish the thing, and then among this mind, the, the leader can give the command, can give the command. So that's why the Buddha said, no the if you you have you know, the the knowledge of karma in result. Then the Buddha said, you become, you attain the right, no, the right view, and you become a true Buddhist. If you don't believe in the karma in Riza, you have the wrong view. So you are not really Buddhist, actually. And the Buddha said, no, the right view, no, the right view. So, no, will, no, will, I mean, the right view will guide you to perform very good deeds. No, it, 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 uh, it multiplies all your good actions, and then, no, so as, as you get all these good, uh, the, the, uh, the, 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 the merit to the street by doing that, then actually you can acquire the, the great kamas, great good kamas actually. So those who, are, who, who do not have the, the right, uh, the, the right view, they have the wrong view. No? That does not know about his karma and his heart. So this, you know, this wrong you will persuade them, you know, will guide them to perform evil action. You know, the, uh, evil, evil action. So it will increase you know, the immoral karma you know, by, by leaps and bounds. And then when you die, you have to suffer in, in the boat. You know. So, and that wisdom is, you know, is guiding you, controlling the mind is, is no, because it becomes predominant, it knows everything. So we think we know everything. We are guiding, we think actually it is a wisdom that is guiding, actually. No, so in that way, you should, you should understand. So if you understand that no, the person, I, do not exist, so no, it is much better for you. You, you, know, you, you will get great benefits. Now we can continue with our teaching. So, yesterday we come to which? What page is that? Yesterday. Thirty-eight or what? Thirty-nine, he said. So, um, <coughs> So better, you know, better we will go to the 38, 38, 37, 38, 37, 38. So about the, okay, no, yesterday we talked about this, the Agusala Vipaka Chaita, no, Agusala Vipaka Chaita, no, so you don't need to put the, uh, the, the rootless, no, Ahituka, you don't need to put it. And here we have to put Ahedukha, Ahedukha Kusla Vipaka Chaita. No? So among these you know, same consciousnesses, these five, no? we call them Pancha Vinyana. No? The five consciousness, 
that are aware of the five sense objects. And also here, you know, we have the, the Panja Vinyana. So, you know, the five, five here, and we combine them and we call them, what do we call them? Dwi Panja Vinyana, no, Dwi Panja Vinyana. And then, you know, the, the, you, you, <coughs> when the sense object, you know, yesterday I told you, no. When we, we encounter unpleasant sense object, it is due to our good or the bad karma, no? bad karma. And during that time, no? the, 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 the eye that sees that sense object would be all are the, the ahituka vipaka chaita. So, no? for example, if someone scolds you, no? talk you or talk evil things to you, you are hearing it, so what is your mind at that time? So that's the question. So no, the, oh, in, in, in regard to this, so we have the question, so you try to answer. Now, now when, you, when you are no, the watching the, tele, the television, so you are seeing no, actors and actresses. Why you see these actors and act actresses? What consciousness will arise in you? That is the question. So when you say, when you are seeing, so at that time, seeing consciousness will arise. Not seeing consciousness will arise. But there are two seeing consciousness. No? The one is, ah, the, the, we, no? when we call this one, we have to say, no? akusala chakku vinyana. No? Akusala chakku vinyana. Akusala vipaka chakku vinyana. No? You can also say like that. This is Ahituka Kusala, Chakku Vinyana, two of them. Which one will arise at that time? One of them can uh, will arise. So just say which one? <laughs> That's, you know, when you say Agusala, that will be wrong. No, that will be wrong. So no, because of the, the good karma, no, we have, the, uh, we have the, the privilege to enjoy sense pleasure. No, to enjoy sense pleasure, actually. So if you are, you are having, no, so when you say, when you, you, know, you, you, you perform no, the, so, no, the meritorious deeds, you perform, you, you gain this good karma, and then no, you will be, you'll be, you'll be born as human being, so even in when you are born in human being, you will be born in, in a rich fam family, and you can enjoy, you know, great uh, the great the luxurious goods, all these things, the sensual pleasure. You can enjoy a lot of them, and that is because of your your good karma. Those who are you no know, who, uh, who are born very poor, you know, because of their you no know, the their good karma is no 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 not not no, no, <laughs> not very strong, so. No, they have to live in 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 in, in the you no know, the you know, poor uh, poor quarter, so you no know, they 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 would see you know, the bad things most of the time. So that is you do you are you are you know you are the, the bad karma. You have to see the the bad things because you have your good karma. We say you see the good thing. So when you see the good thing, it is due to your good karma. It should be kusala. No, it it should be. Ahituka kusala chakku vinyana chaita. That should be your answer. No? Now, if you you see no, some excrements on the road, very dirty. So, when you see like that, what is your, con the, your consciousness? You are seeing the bad things, so if you do your bad karma, so at that time it would be no? ah, kusala. Chakku Vinyana. Agusala Chakku Vinyana. So you, when you enter the, the, the toilet and you get very bad smell, so what chaita will arise at that time? Again, Agusala Gana Vinyana. So when you are not having the, 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 the perfume smell, the sweet smell, when you are you know, getting that, what is your consciousness? It would be? Ah, he took a kusala. 
ध्यान वैज्ञान छेद सो वेन यू आर लिस्निंग टू प्ले प्लेस इन सॉन्ग सो वट वुड बी योर छेद अगेन इट इज दि आतु का कुशला सोता वैज्ञान सो वेन यू गेट योर हेन योर हेन बन नो बन विद बी हॉट वोटर सो वेन यू गेट द बेट पेन So when you are getting the bad feeling, the bad pain, what chaita will arise? So when you get the bad pain, no, actually this dukkha, no, the the dukkha, no, the painful feeling is arising. So it would be akusala vipaka kaya vinyana chaita. No, and then, no, when you sit down on a very comfortable cushion. <laughs> So you have the very, very, very good the, the contact, con the good touch with we should say. So what would be your consciousness? So it would be. So ahitika kusala. So here we we have to put in sukha sahagatam kaya vinyana chaita, and we have to to, to give the, the full name. You have to to use this name. Now, when you say the chakku vinyana, you say upika sagatam chakku vinyana chaita. No, and then when you say this one upika sagatam sota vinyana chaita. So if you say this one, you should say dukha sagatam kaya vinyana chaita. So if you are having this feeling, so what would be the the, the chaita? So again, it is the the dukha sagatam. Kaya vinyana chaita. Now, no, when we so we when a sense object appears, you no, know, in one of the sense door. So, you no, know, the when the chakku vinyana sees it, so it sees just for one consciousness movement. You no know, one, we say in one snap of the hand, one thousand. Million, no one on the one thousand million. They 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 say more than one thousand billion. One thousand billion chaita arise and dissolve. So one chaita, one consciousness. No, the time is very very short. No, even this is one thousand billion. So if you take it, no, you divide it into one thousand part. This time would be very short. So no, they last only that, that very short time. So when he sees something, he see just see it and it perish, and we don't know it yet. No, we don't know it yet actually. And then, now when it 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 perishes, so it the you know the 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 sense object that it sees is passed over to this samadhi chana chaita. Samadhi chana chaita receives it, and then again. No, sandirana. No, the investigate that sense object, whether it is good or bad, and then again the sense object no, has to be determined. So we go to the next page. No, so no, the we say when the sense object appear in the one of these five doors, this no, the pancha dwara vachana chitta. Now we we'll, we we'll take notice of that sense object. No, we say this is pancha dwara vachana. No, so uh, so we begin here with, with here pancha dwara vachana. So we have rootless functional consciousness. So there are three no ahitu ka kriya chaita. So what are they? So you, you can show again. Maybe above here. Uh, nothing above there. Oh, no. So those three. Where do we get the the, the meaning? Ah, he took a kriya chaita. Three of them. So be not nothing below this. Uh, up there. Oh, here, here. So again, up here. 
So this Pancha Dwara is a full name is Pancha Dwara Vachana. No? Pancha Dwara Vachana. And its meaning is no, the five door directing consciousness. Pancha means five, Dwara means door. No? Five door directing consciousness. And then this is Mano Dwara Vachana. No? Mano Dwara Vachana. So they uh, no, are they, uh, accompanied by neutral feelings. So we say Upika Sagatam Pancha Dwara Vachana Chaita. And this one, what do you call it? Upika Sagatam Mano Dwara Vachana Chaita. No, we can just say Chaita. And no, uh, Mano Dwara means mind door, directing consciousness. No, mind door, direct consciousness. And then this one is accompanied by pleasant feeling here. So we say Somana Sazhagatam. No, the, so it is the, and then Ha Si Tu Pada Chaita. It is a smile producing consciousness accompanied by pleasant mental feeling. No, this is a, uh, the pleasant mental feeling. So no, the Hasip Tupada, they arise only in the Arahats and the Buddha. No, so these are the functional Chaita. They arise only in Buddha and Chaita. No, so, the, so when we, we have no, the, a sense object no, appears in, the, no, in our eye door or ear door, so we have no, the, the Chaita. So, where we say, Tu Kaya Vinyana, Ipe Avgana Vinyana, so, moral comma taken, and these instances in moral cons. So here we, 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 we give you the, the, the consciousness. So, so, no? <coughs> well, in that case, we, we just put on the chart number nine, the last chart. No, the last chart is so for, for you. So we call this a series of consciousness, not that that cognize each sense object. So this is pancha dwara vachana. Now when the sense object appears in the in the eye, so pancha dwara vachana will take notice of it. We say it apprehends it, and then no, the consciousness will follow it. And then consciousness will see, the, no, this is Chakku Vinyana. Chakku Vinyana will see the object, no, just for, for, a, for a short moment. And then it disappears, no, it, it perish. So before it perish, no, that, that what it see, the sense object, is, trans, no, is transmitted, that we might say, to the Samadhichana Chaita. Samadhichana is receiving consciousness. It's just received that, that, that sense object, and then it also it perish. So before it perish, it passes o it over to Santirana Chaita. So Santirana Chaita investigates whether it's good or bad. And then again, it have to you know, the, the, the transfer into the Vodhapana. This is actually Mano Dwara Vachana, you know, perform this function. So it, it is a decision, deciding function, deciding whether the sense object is good or bad. And after, no, the, the, uh, the, after this decision, so we say the Jhamana Chaita, so we translate as impulsive consciousnesses, arises seven times, no, enjoying the taste of the sense object. So no, this Jhamana Chaita will be 
either no, moral mind, kusala chaita, or immoral mind, akusala chaita. So when we make the decision, no, when that the, the so the when so we say we make the decision, actually is mano dwara vachana. No, it makes the, the the decision whether the sense object is good or bad. In that place, if you can make wise reflection, moral minds more wise. If you no, you cannot make my wise reflection, so unwise reflection, then in moral minds more wise. So no, if we we don't know that the no, the abhidhamma, so we always make unwise reflection. So when you see no, a beautiful no, lady or even no, a very handsome man, so how how do you do you, you what, what would you decide? Oh, he is very handsome. Oh, she is so beautiful. So what 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 chaita will arise will follow? Lopa mula, no lopa mula. So you develop no, uh, the uh, craving, craving, no, no attachment to, to, to that. So, how can we, uh, we make the, the, the good uh, reflection? So we, see, we are seeing a handsome man, <laughs> a beautiful lady. <laughs> so how should we, 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 we reflect? So now we should reflect in terms of this. Oh, they are just... Just five aggregates, a combination of five aggregates. <laughs> no. <laughs> so only mental and material the group of that. No, so you say that. And so in that case we say we will get the got the moral minds more rise. No, moral mind more rise. Okay, and uh, <coughs> now you you know why samdhana and sandhana are required. No, they are required in cognizing each sense object. And also, pancha dwaravajana and mano dwaravajana, they are also required. No, so no. So when 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 we no, we call this cognitive series. No, the we take is cognitive series. So we will no, we will study this early chapter four. Now, just to tell you, no, here in 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 observing or seeing is to know sen each sense object. A series of uh, the, uh, the consciousness have to arise and, and perish like this. No? And because of that we say, you know, the pancha dwaravajana, mano dwaravajana, and then you know, chakku vinyana, soda vinyana, ghana vinyana, samadhichana chaita, sandhidana chaita are essential. No? Okay, we go back to the 2021. No? So now you understand, no? Panja Dwarabja, Mano Dwarabja, already here. So now, no, we, we, we should go to here, no? here. So no, this is what the, 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 the passage I like to tell you. The functions of the two Avajana Chaita. No? There is that Panja Dwarabajana, Mano Dwarabajana, above. No, uh, in the process of cognition have been described above. If the sense object appears in one of the five sense doors, no, like the eye door, it is pancha dwara vachana, which takes notice of the sense object and directs no, the following consciousness towards that sense object. So pancha dwara vachana chita walks like the, the whip length selector of a radio because of it we can take note of the sense you know, the sense one after another. So Pancha Dwaravajana is you not know, just walking around the, the five sense door. So you know, th when you are looking at me, you know, so so that my wisdom form you know, come to your appear in your mind and then all these things also appear in your in your eye, in your eye. And so when I am uh, uh, talking the sound will appear in your ear. So, though they appear in the eye, in the ear, unless pancha dwaravajana take notice of that, we don't know the sense object. Only when pancha dwaravajana take notice of that, and then now we say that cognitive series arises, only then we know each sense object. No? So, we, we please try to know like that. And then this hasitupada, no, Chaita can arise only in Buddha and Arahats when they smile. 
Note that it is accompanied by pleasant mental feeling. So when you smile, no, you are having the pleasant mental feeling. So we make it the positive uh, sign. And the two avajana chaitas are accompanied by neutral feeling. And uh, the again we we say no the uh, the. These pancha, uh, the you know, pancha vinyana chaita, and all these ahituka chaita, the eighteen of them, no, eighteen ahituka chaitas, they have no roots. So because they have no roots, they are very weak. They are not not very weak. So and because of that, and, and when the you no know, pancha dwaravajana take notice of the sense object, and mano dwaravajana take notice of sense object. No, they don't know no, the, the, the where the sense object is good or bad. So they, they have only you know, the neutral feeling. And the eye consciousness, ear consciousness, all of them have the neutral feeling because they don't know the sense object yet. No, only it is you know, the, so as we saw that cognitive series. So only when we come to the, the you know, what Tabana decides it, whether it's good or bad, and then the the Jamana Chaita, no Jamana Chaita, we say either moral minds or immoral minds arise as Jamana Chaita. Only then we know the sense object, only roughly, not not completely yet, and you will see later on. No, so as soon as that object, the sense object that appears here, it perishes, and that you no know, the that sense object appears in the mind though again. It appears in the mind door again because you no know, past sense object can appear in the mind door. Then only you know, the, the mind door try to take note of the, the, the sense object. So actually, you know, the several mind door, you no know, cognitive series will arise, taking notice of the sense object in detail. Only then we know the sense object in detail. You no, know? so it is very, you know, the very, very, you know, the like the walking of the, the car. No? So for the car, no, to, to move a little. So we think that, oh, only, only the, no? we can push it or to move it, so it will, it will move. No? Because the fear, no? the fear rose, then it will move, we say. But to make the, the fear roll, you have the, the, the engine, the engine, no? have to, have to, to walk in. And then it has to, to turn no? the, 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 the screws in the, the gearbox. And then also, no, the 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 no, the 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 piece of the the car. So we have many parts, no, walking together, so to make the car to run. <laughs> so the same thing, no, to know each sense object, no, the body, no. So many of these mental men, men, men factors and consciousness they walk together to be aware of them. So we can, we shall know the, the entity later on. So and then now we we can we we pass now here now we, we you have to see like this now the, note the twelve immoral consciousnesses and the eighteen rootless consciousnesses are collectively called thirty asobana chaita not beautiful consciousness so sobana means beautiful asobana means not beautiful consciousnesses. And all the remaining consciousnesses are called Sobhana Chaita, beautiful consciousnesses. And then, no, if you ask, why do the twelve immoral consciousness are called Sobhana, not beautiful? So the answer is they are associated with the evil roots, Lopa, Dosa, Moha, and they bring you know, the, the bad result to us. And they are the one that send the, the you know the living beings to the to the buffalo boats. So we say, you know, it is not beautiful. And then the eighteen, you know, the ludless consciousness. They are the you know the, the, the consciousness that are aware of the sense objects. And these sense objects, you know, the eighteen ludless consciousness, they arise in the Buddha also. So you no, know, we say that though they you know. They are not beautiful. Why they are raised in the, in the Buddha? Because the Buddha also need to know all the sense objects, the bad objects as well as the good objects. So they arise, you know, they arise in the Buddha also. 
So then why do you say them to be not beautiful? So the answer is they are not associated with beautiful con or the roots yet. No, they are not or the, you know, connected with the beautiful roots. So they, they just you know, they do, no, make you to be aware of the sense object and they, they, they cannot give you the good benefits of something like that. No? Okay. And then we, 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 we go to the 24 Kama Sovana Chaita. So the Chaita in number one, no, the Chaita Chat number one, Chaita Chat number one. Very good, very good. Yes, yes, oh, already, okay. Now we finish this, the 12 in moral mind and 18 rootless consciousness. So that make up 30 and we call them asopana chaita, no? not beautiful consciousnesses. So only these 30 are not beautiful. So up to this line, all the remaining chaita. No, so are beautiful consciousnesses. So now we, you know, we go on with this, the 24 Kama Sobhana Chaita, the beautiful consciousnesses no, that arise in the sense sphere, Kama Vachara is sense sphere. So these 24 are divided no, the equally into three groups. So we call them no, eight Maha Kusala Chaita, eight Maha Vipaka Chaita, and eight Maha Kriya Chaita. And since they belong to the Kama Vachara Chaita, so no, their initial name is actually Kama Vachara Kusala Chaita, Kama Vachara Vipaka Chaita, and Kama Vachara Kriya Chaita. Now, no, if you know this, then we go, we, we go to the, uh, the, the, the text, the text, the text. So now we, we give you here the names. So no, their original name is Kama Vajra Kusala Chaita. And then Kama Vajra Vipaka Chaita and Kama Vajra Kriya Chaita. No, so they are sense fear, moral consciousness. And sense fear, result and consciousness. And when you say Kriya is functional consciousness. And then no, our uh, the Abhidhamma teacher, no, they like to, to, to make the name simple. Instead of saying Kama Vachara, they just say Maha Kusala Chaita, and Maha Vipaka Chaita, and Maha Kriya Chaita. So here, no, Maha, no, that Maha means, no, so we say here, no, here Maha or means only great. It means, and it means greater in number, greater in number. So Maha Kusala Chaita is also known as Kama Vajra Kusala Chaita. As there are eight Kama Vajra Kusala Chaita, five Rupa Vajra Kusala Chaita, four are Rupa Vajra Kusala Chaita, and four Lugutra, no, the Supramande Kusala Chaita. The number of Kama Vajra Kusala Chaita is the greatest. So again, I think you have to show chat, chat number one again. <laughs> so these are not the, the Kusala Chaita. They are only 12 in moral minds. For moral consciousness, no, we have all these uh, moral consciousness. And now we have this is Kama Vajra Chaita. No? So eight of them. This is five Rupa Vajra Chaita. And this is four uh, Rupa Vajra Kusala Chaita. And this is four Lugutra, no Supramande, no Kusala Chaita. So among these four groups, no, the, this is the, the greatest in number. So no, we can also call them Mahakusala Chaita. The same thing, this Vipaka Chaita. No, for the initially is called Kama Vajra Vipaka Chaita. Now our teacher, no, they, they try to make it short. So as they call this Mahakriya, Mahakusala Chaita. They also call this Mahakriya Chaita and also this Mahakriya Chaita. And again, you know, there are four groups of this, you know, the, you know, the Vipaka Chaita. And among these four, again, it is greatest in number. 
And again here, it is the greatest number among these, uh, among these four. So we use this Maha Krija Chaita. No? Now we go to their names. No? We, so we go back to the text again. So the, 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 the symbol, we like the symbol. No? The symbol of uh, the, the already the 40, you go to back to 40. Great moral consciousness, okay, here. No? So we have, so that the Mahakusala Chaita arise when ordinary wallings. No? Wallings are called Putujana. No? So wallings are persons who have, a, who have a lot of defilements in their minds. So they are called Putujana. And noble persons, with the exception of Arahats. So when these people perform meritorious deeds, the moral minds arise, no? moral minds arise, and the meritorious, these are, no? so in, in brief we say, there are three types of meritorious deeds. One is dana, almsgiving. So almsgiving is, the, remember, no? it is the, to develop the alopa, greedlessness. No? Alopa, greedlessness. So don't we, we try to make almsgiving. And then we observe moral morality. No? So again, no? to, to develop the adosa. No? Adosa, hatelessness. No? Hatelessness or angerlessness, no? the adosa. So we, we observe moral precept, causing no harm to any living being. No? So we also develop tolerance and the loving kindness. No? So this morality. So it is a good way of doing meritorious deeds. And then we, do, uh, the, we undertake meditation no, to develop the wisdom, amoha, amoha. So no, these meritorious states are developing the moral roots, alopa, adosa, amoha. Now, Mahavipaka chaitas are the karma results of this Mahakusala chaita. No? Uh, the, and the function, they function as Patisanti chaita, rebirth consciousness. And then Bhavika Chaita, life continuum from our consciousness, and Chuti Chaita, death consciousness in human realms and Deva realms no, in their present lives. And then Mahakriya Chaita arise in Arahats when they perform meritorious deeds. Arahats no, have no, no, no defilements, no greed, so no attachment no, to anything. So they expect no rewards from their wholesome deed. They perform wholesome deed, but they don't no, they expect any, any no, the good rewards from the wholesome deeds. So no, their Kriya Chaitas are just functional and will not bear any karma results in the future lives. Arahats do not have future lives. No, for them, the, it is the last, pass, uh, last existence so then they, they perform meritorious deed because we should perform meritorious deed for the welfare of the people. So they also do meritorious deeds, but they don't, they don't expect any reward. They, you know, so they don't have any greed, any, any moha, you know, the, we call avijja moha. So they don't develop any karma. No? Okay. Now we have the, the eight, no, the moral consciousness. We give the symbols and the, uh, you know, if you look at the eight Lopa Mula Chaita we teach you yesterday, so the, the, you know, the symbols are the same, the same. No? You know, the, also the, you know, the notations are the same, only you know, the difference is instead of Deity, you know, Deity Sam, you know, Deity is the wrong view, now we have Jnana Sam. No, jnana is the wisdom or the knowledge of karma in its result. No, the knowledge, knowing karma in its result is jnana. Jnana samyutam means associated with the, 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 with the knowledge of karma in its result. And jnana vibhutam, no, not dissociated with the knowledge of karma result. And then just like yesterday, these are given, the, the positive sign is somana sagatam, Pleasant mental feeling, 
And then Upika Sagadam is neutral mental feeling, not neutral mental feeling. So it, it's all right, you, you, we, we just go here. So now yesterday, no? so I, I think you can look at the Lopa Mula Chaita. So also we, we go back to Lopa Mula Chaita, the, the first, the first, the first, Okay, here. No, here we say yesterday, this is Lopa Mula Chaita, you have dating some. No, associated with the wrong view. So when we read, we say, we start reading here, So Manasa Saha Gadam. Deiti Gata Samyudam, no, associated with the wrong view. A Sankari Kam Ekam, un, no, unprompted. And Sa Sankari Kam Ekam, prompted. And so the next, uh, the, no, when you come to the next page, you change Deity Sangha sam, Samyutam into Deity Gata Vipyutam. So this. So again we say Somana Sasagatam, Deity Gata Vipyutam, Asankari Gam Ekam, Sasankari Gam Ekam. So for this two pe, no, you change the Somana Sa into Upika. Upika Sagatam, Deity Gata Samyutam, Asankari Gam Ekam, Sasankari Gam Ekam. Upika sagadam, deti gata vipyutam, a sankari kam ekam, sa sankari kam ekam. So we, the same thing, so we go back to the eight, eight Mahakusala Chaita again. Okay, 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 here. So now you can, no, we can read together. So manasa saha gadam, jnana sampyutam. A sankari kam ekam. And this one is sa sankari kam ekam. And the next pair, so manasa sagatam, jnana vipyutam, a sankari kam ekam, sa sankari kam ekam. Upika sagatam, jnana sambyutam, a sankari kam ekam, sa sankari kam ekam. Upika sagadam, jnana vipyutam, a sankari gam ekam, sa sankari gam ekam. So when you give the meaning, ekam is one consciousness, no? one consciousness. Unprompted means, uh, a sankari ga, unprompted, and it is accompanied by, sagadam is accompanied by pleasant mental feeling. And associated with, no? Samyutta is associated with no? knowledge, that's all. No? So when you come to the next, instead of prompted, you become uh, unprompted, you become prompted. So we give the name, no? the names are here. So the names are here, you already read them. So we say one consciousness, unprompted, accompanied by joy, or not better to use pleasant feeling, pleasant mental feeling and associated with knowledge. So when you come to the next one, instead of unprompted, you just change prompted. And when you the third and four, so what do you change? So again, it is the one consciousness, unprompted, accompanied by pleasant feeling. So we change here. Instead of associated with the, no, associated with the knowledge, now you get dissociated with knowledge. Here is associated with knowledge, dissociated with knowledge. And one is prom, uh, prom, unprompted, and the other one is prompted. And the next four, the same meaning, no? one consciousness, unprompted, accompanied by, so instead of pleasant mental feeling, so we, we, we use neutral feeling, and associated with knowledge. So it is not very difficult, no? it's easy to, to remember. So no? when you know the name, no? when you perform the meritorious deeds, so if you perform no? the, no? With, this, uh, the, the, with joy, no? with joy, and you, we, we say you get somanasa, no? somanasa sagatam, and then if you perform with the knowledge of karma and result, it would be Jnana Sambhutam. And you, you know, perform it without being prompted by anyone. 
It is an, uh, the asankarika, unprompted. And it is prompted by, by you or by others. Then it would be sankarika, prompted. So which is better? To do with, with the jnana samyutam or jnana vibhutam? Without the knowledge of the karma and result or with the, result, with the knowledge of karma and result? No, so it's, it's much better to do with the knowledge of karma and res, its result. And how about unprompted and prompted? Which is better? No, unprompted means it's volitionally more active. So the karma you get is more, is stronger. No, it will bear greater result, greater result. And then no, the somanasa, if you perform somanasa, sagatam, so the result then of this consciousness is also no, the Somanasa Mahavipaka Chaita. So if you perform with the you know, neutral feeling, the, the, you know, the, the moral deeds, so when this karma produces its result in consciousness, also Upika Sagdam, Jnana Sambhut, you know, the consciousness. So remember, no, this Mahavipa, the no, the, the, this is the moral mind, so that we go to the next topic, the next topic. So the, uh, no, the great result in consciousnesses and great functional consciousnesses. No, that being Mahavipaka Chaita and Mahakriya Chaita. So the eight Mahakriya uh, Vipaka Chaita as well as the eight Mahakriya Chaitas. They are named in the same way as the eight Mahakusala Chaita, the same way. So when we, no, so when one wishes to differentiate between the, the three classes of this Chaita, then one can say in this way, we say. So the first for the no, Kusala Chaita, we say, So Manasa Sagadam, Jnana Sambhutam, Ah, Sankharika Mahakusala Chaita. So for Vipaka Chaita, you just change this Kusala into Vipaka. And then for Kriya Chaita, you just change this Kusala into Vipaka. So for Mahavipaka, we, no, what, what is the name? So Manasa Sagatam, Jnana Samyutam, Ah, Sankharika Mahavipaka Chaita. So all the eight Mahavipaka Chaita, now we give the same symbol. And the same name, so we just change Kusala into Vipaka. And then in the function or eight function of consciousness, again the same symbol. And then no, in the name, we just change Kusala into Kriya. So Manasa Sagatam Jnana Samyutam Asankharika Maha Kriya Chaita. So, so it, uh, this is what I told you. So, uh, it may be said that the first Mahakusala Chaita uh, gives result to the first Mahavipaka Chaita. And the second Mahakusala Chaita uh, gives result to the second Mahavipaka Chaita, Chaita. Conditions for arising of Mahakriya Chaita in our hearts are the same as those described for Mahakusala Chaita. So now we have the we have the meeting. We have the again the exercises. So it's good to do the exercise. Now we, we try to read number one, exercise one. If we offer arms without being prompted by anyone, so it is not prompted. It will be a sankharika, and with karma knowledge. So that means. Associated with the with with wisdom, no? associated with uh, jnana sambhuta, you know, with the knowledge of karma. And if we also feel glad at the time of offering, so that means somanasa sahagadam, jnana sambhuta, and asankarika. So you have to put no, in the name no? Mahakusala Chaita. Now the next one. If young children, without knowledge of karma and karma result, so no, young children, no, they don't know the, uh, the about karma and result, 
So they say without knowledge of karma and its result. And they pay homage joyfully to a monk or to a Buddha's image. So if you no pay homage to a monk or a Buddha, so you develop moral minds, so it would be moral consciousness, and then joyfully is somana sasagadam. So after being prompted by their parents, their parents ask no, to ask them to pay homage to the Buddha, so they pay, they pay homage. So that means they are prompted no, by, by their parents. So what would be the Gusla Chaita? So being the joyfully, you know, they, they, they are offering, uh, paying hope joyfully. So it is so manasa sahagatam. So no knowledge of karma, jnana viputam, and then they are prompted, sa sankharika mahakusala chaita. Now how about this number three, or number four? A man, after being requested by the headmaster, no, the headmaster of the high school, no, to donate some money to the school. So he donates one hundred dollars joyfully without knowing karma in result. So that means if you make donation, so you develop moral minds. No, you know it is moral mind. And now, now he donates without knowing karma in result. So without, no, so it is the Taitikata, no, the Jnana Vibhutam, no, Jnana Vibhutam. And do this joyfully, Somana Sasagatam, without knowing karma. So what was the name of the, the, the Chaita? Somana Sasagatam, Jnana Vibhutam, Sa Sankharika, Vahakusala Chaita. And number five, a girl sweeps the floor with neutral feeling, but knows it, knows it is a wholesome thing to do. So sweeping the floor, no, it is it's also meritorious deed. No, meritorious deed. Why? Why it is a meritorious deed? So when it makes no the the place clean. So when the people you know, live here or walk over there, you know, they, they, you know, they can walk very joyfully. So, you know, they, they, you know, so if there are many rubbish, so nobody would like to live. You know? So if you can clean it, you know, they are for the welfare of all the people. So you are doing very to the state. So again also, you know, it is the moral mind. So what would be the moral minds? So she is sweeping. The floor with neutral feeling, upika sagadam. And then she know no, it is a wholesome deed. So it is, no, she knows it is good karma. So we have to take jnana sambhutam. And not, no, the, not persuaded by anyone. So it is a sankharika mahagusala chaita. And how about no, this number seven? A woman reads a Dhamma book no, on her own accord, no, that means without being prompted by anyone, without understanding the meaning and without no, knowing karma and its result. So if you don't understand the meaning of the book you are reading, you have no joy. No? You have no joy. So what it would be the Chaita again? So if you are reading the, the Dhamma book, so no, you are, whether you understand or not, so you are developing moral mind. So Mahagusala Chaita again. So what it is? So it is without joy. So it is Upika Sagadam. And then how about the, the Dhamma Law Number seven, number seven. No, her own accord without understanding the meaning and without Knowing Kama, so it is Jnana Vibhutam, and then Asankharika Mahagusala Chaita. So, no, we so we get it now, I think. So now remember this Mahavipaka Chaita, the result of the no, this the moral Kama. So the function as rebirth consciousness, 
and then no, life continuum and dead consciousness. No, so you, you, you please show chat number nine again, no, chat number nine again, just to tell them the, the, the significance of Mahavipaka Chaita. So here we will show you no, the, the consciousness in one existence. So we begin with the rebirth consciousness. Now when you are conceived in the, in the mother's womb, so we start no, with the, no, the rebirth consciousness. No, we say Patit Santi Chaita, rebirth consciousness. So actually, no, your dead consciousness of the past existence is just, no, just in front of this one. No, so there is no separation among the, the Chaita. No, they are in contact actually. But here we like to show this, no, the Kamaja Rupa, no, the Kama born material are also produced no, at the rising moment, existing moment, and the perishing moment of this rebirth consciousness. No, so when we are conceived in the mother's womb, no, so Kamaja, Kama born material also arise together. No, this, this material, they, they make up, no, they, our body, slowly they will make up our body and then the consciousness will arise, no? the, the, all these are Mahavipaka Chaita no? for human beings, all are Mahavipaka Chaita so no? the, the karma is only one karma so it is produces its result in consciousness so these consciousness will be identical no? identical, it is the number one Mahakusala Chaita they will be number one Mahavipaka Chaita among the eight Vipaka Chaita, it was the first one, no? the first one. So it was, so the, the next consciousness, after the rebirth consciousness, we get no, the Bhavinga Chaita. Bhavinga Chaita means, we, we translate it life continuum. No, life continuum means it continues your lifespan, no, your life. So, no, so only the, the, no, the the, the chaita keep arising, then we have no, the jivita indriya in mental factor that we call psychic life. No? So the arise, the psychic life is present in all consciousnesses. And then the material life, they exist in all this karma, karma no, materiality. So we have no, psychic life continuously arising, and the, no, the material life Continuous alive, see, only then you, you remain alive. No? So in the Vidama, it's very, very, no? it's very, very, no? the in think, very in detail actually. And then, no? the last consciousness we call Chuti Chaita. No? So these consciousnesses, no? the, 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 we don't know that they are arising because they take the sense object, no, which is taken by, by the, you know, so just in your previous existences, so uh, I think maybe we, we explain like that, it would take you more time actually. <laughs> no, no. So when we are about to die, no, among the many, you know, the kamas, and then one kama will have the chance to bear reserve not for the next existence. And that karma, not that karma, not that has the chance to bear it. So it, it produces you know, these series of consciousnesses. And that karma actually they appears you know, in, the, in the mind door of the, the previous existence before that person died. You know? So and if the, you know, the, 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 karma, you know, the karma is, for example, no, the karma, the listening to the, the present Abhidhamma, Abhidhamma. Then, no, what is happening to you that the chaita will arise in the same way, the same kind of chaita will arise. And you will remember, oh, I'm listening to Dr. Mon's <laughs> Abhidhamma class. <laughs> so that karma, that good karma now you acquired, now produce a new existence. And as the, that, the, 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 the sense object, no, it's transmitted from, 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 uh, from mind to mind. We don't know it because it's not process. Not process, you know, step by step as we say.
previously. So no, after the observed by Panja Dwara Vajana, Chaku Vijana sees it, and then Samarichana receives it, and Sandhirana investigates it, and the Vodhapana, the Mano Dwara Vajana decides it, and then only Jamana Chaita, only then we know the sense object. And it is not processed like that, so we don't know it. No, so they are very important, they keep us alive. They keep us alive. No, so, so we have the eight Mahavipaka Chaita to function, now this function. Okay, now we can go to the next, the, the next topic. Okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> you have to remember me. I cannot. <laughs> ah, so you have. To, okay, you will take 15 minutes. No, 15 minutes rest. <laughs>